Sorry to interrupt your rehearsal, ma'am, but about Mr. Beale. Surely he's coming home for the party. Well, I should say so. He's announcing his daughter's engagement. Wall Street will have to do without him for a day. Mr. Beale thinks making money matters more than a restful family summer by the shore. But unless some act of God divine derails the New York Montauk line, he's arriving on the then I'll have a car waiting at the station. Auntie, Auntie Edith! Auntie, Auntie Edith! Girls, girls! Look at you, Jackie. Lovely. And Lee, a fright. What have you been doing? Sing for us, Auntie Edith. Now, girls, make yourselves useful. Go out to the garden, make some pretty little nosegays to wear at the party. Please, please, please. Just one song. <laughs> All right, cool. What's next on the bill? Indian love poem? No, the mysterious Orient. Hit it! Pretty itty bit. Hobbling on her poor bound feet. Oh, pity it yeah. bit gay shot. Hiding all her foolish pride. <laughs> Let your Auntie Edith finish her rehearsal. Take your silly selves outside. Scoot! <laughs> Utter terrors, those two. Yeah, I just adore children, especially grown ones. Ma'am, the caterer's arrived. Where would you like him to set up? Put the chafing dishes on the garden ledge. Once the gardener has finished with a hedge Chill the vicious swaz and heat the veal and wish me luck Cause Mr. Veal is arriving on the 515 What time is it? Uh, half past eleven. Oh, good lord, one o'clock Set the chairs on the tables, two o'clock Raise the big white tent, three o'clock Reginaldo does our hair Now that sounds promising Four o'clock Hang the Japanese lanterns. Five o'clock, mix the champagne punch. Take the inchworms off the peonies. Pink umbrellas for the daiquiri. The ambassador and Rose will tour the ground. Like a spread from house and garden, she expires. Oh, how new Have the piano tuned and moved outdoors by cocktail hour. Mind not yours and restrict yourself to grenadine. You cannot be sloshed at 5.15. Beale resident, hold please, lady from the Hamptons Beat. Why, hello, Margaret. Yes, darling, half past five. <laughs> well, everyone's simply to two Park Avenue and look around to Hyannis. Well, the press table's going to be awfully crowded, but if you don't mind sharing a folding chair with Harper's Bazaar, sing me? <laughs> Heavens no, it's Edie's day, not mine. Although people can be so insistent, and I hate to disappoint. Twist my arm, blackmail me, threaten my very life, and who knows, you might get a verse of something. Yes, darling, half past. Where were we? One o'clock. Stake the droopy hydrangeas. Two o'clock. Fill the lotus pond. Three o'clock. Lock the cat up in its room. Oh, poor kitty. Four o'clock. Glaze the salmon in aspic. Five o'clock. Crack the crab on ice with the privet pruned and manicured. And my daughter's future well assured. Gray gardens will be decked up in its pride. of 1941 of east west south and bridge have done oh perhaps i've overspent a bit the man who's gonna pay for it is, is arriving, arriving. Oh.